tech UI to do rule based actions on the browser so in this case in this particular file I define a file name which is this is taken from an Excel uh, is this is where the data is stored then I will load this file name .csv into the body this file has to be pre-processed and provided to you to you then I will do a column A to extract to extract the the length of the column and then after that I'll echo to do some check then this is a JavaScript block to do a begin and finish this is to basically convert the CSV parser function from CSV to an array that I can manipulate later on so all this is the is the JavaScript which you don't have to worry too much and then I'll do a pending a declaration of the function within the Java block to do CSV to array of the body then I'll declare certain arrays as empty arrays first so that it can be understood later on then I'll do a loop and then I'll define certain rows and then I'll check for the subject which is taken from which is taken from subject K so it will take from here the subject and then it will take because on the row 2 because this is 0 1 and 2 then followed by row 9 which is the URL here then it will finish the JavaScript block then I will ask it to visit the website then check if let's say there is a presence of a login button if it, if it exists then click on it and then go to my web browser to get the OTP and then key it in this is where the, the script starts to do the automated language turning on for Malay language localization because this is a good feature to have so I've added it in so first you declare a start variable of the row to test and then it will gradually check it will run through the start of this to the end of the file minus one because if you remember the end of the file at higher up was about 7000 okay then I'll check that the subject contains the word Malay okay, if it does then I'll do a series of echo and then I'll do a manipulation to temporarily store the URL and then replace the URL with a blank and then echo it out and then visit the URL then it will read this particular X path to check whether it's a Malay so let me let me read uh, according to what I see here on the on the screen so it's, it's going through it's going through the the database and then checking and then now after it has detected that it, this is a a Malay language subject and then plus the language code is in, in English then it will do a series of buttons to edit it so it's skipping skipping then now it hits it then you click on the edit then you click on this other edit then you will click on this drop down menu and then select the correct language and then click save and then click cross all this is done and then check out the cross and then it will then iterate through the whole series of lessons and courses in the database which is the .csv file so if it does nothing if it finds if it does at the end of it then it will echo the serial number the index if it does nothing then you echo the, the skip so you can see how it runs and is able to do all this uh, automatically